on Strike It Lucky tonight, a jackpot of £3,000. Eat as never before, we'll sweep you off for dinner in Paris. Or we'll re-carpet your living room. And really get away from it all with a holiday in the breathtaking beauty of the Greek islands. All these prizes to be won tonight on Strike It Lucky. And now, ladies and gentlemen, your host, Michael Barrymore. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you, what? Thank you, what? Hiya, yeah. oh, yeah. how are you going? Hello, Joan, you okay? Yes, thank you. Fine. Good, and, and who's this? Albert. Albert, hello, Albert, how are you? Oh, where, whereabouts are you from? Telford. Yeah, and you're married? Yes. You've been married 48 years. Oh, have you? So what do you do with yourself, Albert? Well, I'm retired, but I was in the army. Oh, well, you were in the army? Yeah. What did you do in the army? I was a sergeant major. Yeah, and did you fight at all? Oh, yes, I was, um, I was in Crete and was captured by the Germans. Oh, yeah, how long were you captured for? <laughs> Only three hours. Three hours? <laughs> Well, they go to lunch or something. Or... <laughs> he did the man in. Three hours? Yeah, no. he did what the did man you, in. What... No, they didn't keep you long, Albert, did they? No, four hours. Hey? Four, four hours did the sentry in. You did the sentry in? Yes. And oh, he's... what, completely? He... Yes, and escaped. Oh, yeah, we well, would. Yeah. Yes, and well. we, we, we landed back on the African coast, to, to, you know, up at Mersey Matru in there and... Uh... Mersey Matru? Yes, in... Yeah. It's on the desert, you know. Oh, right, yeah, fine. Yeah. I'll take your word on that one. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and what about you, Joan? How long have you been married? You say 48 years? 48 years, nearly. Yeah. And what's he like to live with? Wonderful. <laughs> oh, you said that with a bit of doubt. You sure? <laughs> I'm positive. You're absolutely positive. Where'd you get married then? Where'd you, where'd you meet? Wolverhampton. We met on the buses. Oh, did you? Yeah. What, 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 what was he doing on the bus? He was a conductor and he came down the stairs and he said to me, he said, what can I do for you? <laughs> And I said, ain't anyone, please, and he'd been doing it ever since. <laughs> That's cheap, then, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, all right. Well, lovely to see you. Well done, Joan. Yeah. Have a lovely evening. Good luck to you. Thank well you. done, Albert. Thank you. Nice round of There we are. Hello, sir. How, How are you? Nice to meet you. Declan and Matt. Matt. Nice to see you. Two fine gentlemen. Where are you from? Uh, Ireland. From uh, Southern Ireland? Yeah, that's yes. right. Yeah. And which part of Ireland are you from? Uh, I'm from Dublin, just south of Dublin. Dublin and? And I'm from Limerick, which is 120 miles well, from Dublin. Well, no, holy Mary, mother of God, no. How are you? <laughs> so, what, tell us about, are you uh, friends? Yeah, 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 yeah. And where did you meet? Um, we met in Shannon Airport. We went on holiday to Russia uh, in 1985. What? The old Soviet Union. Oh, you went to the Soviet Union? Yeah, and, So, what did, you, what, did, what did you met at the airport? We met at the airport. Yeah, and you yeah. just got on well with we each other. Yeah, yes. Yeah. yeah. So you went to the airport and you met there. And yeah, her plane was delayed to, for a day. To the, uh, what's up, Joan? You all right? Yes. You keep fine. bobbing up and down. You're looking for something. I'm attached with my handkerchief. Oh, all right. OK. <laughs> Just that he had a smile on his face all of a sudden. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Outrageous. So, um, right. back, back to you, lads. Now, now so we're at the airport. Yeah. Yes. And uh, what do you do for a living, by the way? Uh, I export chewing gum base around the world. Oh, do you? Mm. <laughs> And what about you, Matt? Um, I'm a local authority official with Limerick Corporation. Yeah. What does that mean you do? Um, <laughs> I work for the local authority. I'm in the rates section. People come in and pay me rates. Yes. One of the brainy lads, are you? Well, well he lets on to be. Is possibly. he answering the questions tonight? <laughs> he is. All right. Well, the best of luck to you, Matt. Good luck to you. Nice to see you. Thank 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 you. Hi, Paul. Hi, Mark. Nice to meet you. And I, what's your, it's got, you got your hair hanging down there. Colette, That's do you want right. to put your hair back there? That's where you had it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Collette, I know your name now. And where are you from? We're from Rotherham. And what, um, you're married? Yes. Yeah. Any, 18 months. Any kids? No. no. <laughs> OK, so what, uh, what about you? What do you do? I uh, work for a kitchen company. I'm a secretary. Yeah, and Paul, what about you? I'm a gas service engineer. What about your honeymoon? Uh, where did you go for your honeymoon? Well, that was a bit of a surprise. Uh, she thought she was going to Torquay camping. For a week. <laughs> yeah, and right. I bought some. So you didn't let her down, did you? No. I bought right. some new sleeping bags. Oh, what for the camping trip? Yeah. Yeah. You went and bought them. Yeah. Yeah. What happened then? No, I took her to Orlando, to Disneyland. <laughs> and uh, so, w w when did he surprise you? When did you know you were not going to Torquay camping? Well, I thought all along we were going to Torquay camping, and then uh, at the reception after the speeches, Paul says, "Oh, I've got a little surprise for Colette here." He says, "Some good, some bad." He says, uh, "The bad thing is she's got to go back to work." But the good thing is, we're going to Orlando on honeymoon. So. Oh, 
Has he been like that all the time? No. no. I've never done anything as good since. I've ne never even <laughs> seen a flower since. Well, they all know that. <laughs> see, that's what happens. You see, Colette? Do so, you enjoy the holiday in Orlando? Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, that's the last one you're going to have. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully you're going to win tonight as well. So let's give a nice round of applause. Welcome, everybody, to see Paul. And Colette, good luck to you. you. All right. OK. Alright, now, the idea of the game is to get from one side to the other. The first couple to get across gets a chance to go on to our jackpot tonight and win anything up to £3,000. You tossed a coin earlier on to decide who's going first, so if your partners would like to go to the places, we can start. Let's give them a nice round of applause. Let's start the game. Here we go. Alright. You know where you're going? Go right down there. You alright, love? Yeah, I'll get up there. It's all downhill now. Move across your artists, you have to answer questions from various categories. I'll give you a choice of two, three or four questions for two, three or four moves. I think you all know the rules uh, by now, so we'll start. The first category is feeling cocky. It's for you, Albert. <laughs> two, three or four, Albert? Two. Two. This is an Australian bird. Cockatoo. The <laughs> inventor of the hovercraft. Cockerel. That's right, two moves are yours. We're off. OK, here we go. Ready? All right, Joan. Yes, thank okay, you. OK, first screen we give you absolutely free. You're keen, aren't you, Joan? There, just get in there. Hit the button with your left hand there. That's it. Just on the back so you can see it. A dining suite. Do you want to bank that or risk there's nothing on that screen? Oh. What are you going to do? What are you going to do, Albert? It's a dining suite. Move on. Go on. Move on. You want to move on. OK, yeah. up you come, Joan. There you go. Strike the screen. <laughs> Fitted carpet and the dining suite. That's yours. Well done. OK. All right, Albert. Yeah, you what? What was the second one? What was the second one? Yeah. Well, it doesn't matter, you've got it. I didn't get it. Oh, you didn't hear it? Uh, fitted carpet. Oh, very good. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> it's, uh, it's this one, actually. It's fitted to this place here. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, OK. Well, it'll be a nice fitted carpet for your home, all right? There you go. Right, a man called Jones for you, Matt. Two, three or four? Uh, three, please. Ooh, adventurous. All right. This is an American singer in the Sinatra style. An American singer in the Sinatra style. Jack Jones. Uh, an English architect. Inigo Jones. A famous amateur golfer. A famous amateur golfer. If you're not sure, take a guess. Bobby Jones. Good guess. Well done. All right. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> hey, Hey, Michael. Hello, All right, Nozer, come along now. Thank you very much. Uh, hello. It was a little banger. A gold necklace. Do you want to bank that or is it nothing on the next screen? Go on. Bigger one. No, they don't look like gold necklace, boys. <laughs> a car CD player and a gold necklace. Do you want to bank those two or is it nothing on the next screen? Go on. What are you going to do? You want to go on? Oh, oh, bank us. Bank us. Bank us. Bank us. That's okay, it. I think that's it. wise. Yeah. You're going to bank it. OK, well done. <laughs> All right. We've gone to the next category, which is for you, Paul, past presenters. Two, three or four. Past presenters. Two, please. Two, for your first move, who was made famous for presenting these TV shows? Take your pick. Michael Miles. <laughs> Fluke. <laughs> huh? Fluke. Fluke. Yeah, total. Well, it doesn't mean it's right just because they clapped. <laughs> <laughs> they might be trying to wind you up. <laughs> That's right, OK. The second one. W Money. Harold McMillan. Hey? Harold McMillan. <laughs> <laughs> um, Harold McMillan. I'll tell no. you in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I have to offer the, the uh, charge to you, uh, Albert. Uh, who presented W Money? Yui Green. That's right. OK, there we are. <laughs> All right. OK. Strike the screen, Joan. There you go. Give it a wallop. Oh, oh, go nice. away, Michael. Eh? Go away. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my fault, love. I mean, that, that, they, 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 you have to have yeah, them. You say it's part of the game, you know. Yeah. But at least you haven't lost anything. No. No, you haven't. No. Well, I will go away. All right. <laughs> OK, we come back now to you, Matt, for the next category, which is Russia. Oh, this is handy. Falling on your feet here, seeing as you've been there. I hope you can get all the... How many would you like? Two, three or four? Four, please. Oh. <laughs> no, I don't know. All right. The whole lot, then. This is the capital city. Moscow. This is the Russian term for the Underground Railway. Metro. This was formerly Leningrad. 
St. Petersburg. You make tea in this. Samovar. Four are yours. All right. All right, don't come, Declan. There we are. Set the screen. Bin. Uh, <laughs> bin Oculus. I'll go on. Oh, wait. Bin. <laughs> bin liners. I thought it was that. <laughs> Oculus. Go on. You go on. O o Ed o Oculus. You going on? Yes. You sure? You positive. Positive. All right. Okay. Strike the screen. OK, you lose the binoculars. We go on to the next category, which is sport. Three, please. please. All right, three again. Well yeah. done. OK, sport. With which sport do you associate the following? A leg by. A leg by. What sport? Ice hockey. Ooh, no, it's not right. Albert, do you know what a leg by? What sport? That... Cricket. <laughs> you can tell when you're confident, Albert. There's no doubt about it. A fly half. Rugby. Yes, and for the third move, a puck. Uh, badminton. No, no, a puck. Ice hockey. Uh, it's hockey's right. Three moves are yours. OK. <laughs> All right. How do you come, Declan? There we go. Strike the screen. A day at Brands Hatch. You want to bank that or risk um, having on the next screen? What are you going to go on? I'm going to go on. on. Go on. Go on. Um, OK, strike the screen. A drum kit and a day at Brands Hatch. You want to bank? Well, think about the game. Do you want to bank it or do you want to risk having on the next bank screen? Bank Bank us. Bank it. You bank it. You bank it. 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 Bank Okay. Bank it. 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 Yeah, he had another surprise for you there. Colette, he started. Okay. <laughs> Strike the screen. Okay, cashmere sweaters. Do you want to bank those? Are you going on? Are you going on? All right, strike the screen. The portable phone and the cashmere sweaters. Do you want to bank them or risk having on the next screen? You keep going? Keep going. All right, okay. Oh! Smoke salmon for a year! Portable phone and the cashmere sweaters. <laughs> Like smoked salmon, Paul? No. You don't. <laughs> oh well. Okay. Do you like smoked salmon, Albert? Yes. Okay. You don't want to swap the fitted carpet, do you? <laughs> no. All right. Yellow streak. Two, three, or four? Oh, two. Two. All right. All the answers contain the colour yellow. This is a small bird. Yellow hammer. A city in Canada. Uh, a city in Canada. Take a guess, Albert, if you're not sure. Yellowstone. No, I'm afraid for you now, Matt. Yellow knife. Yellow knife is right. The two moves are yours. OK. All right. Here you come, Declan. Strap the screen. Oh! <laughs> Turn into hell of a game here. We can just pick up now with Paul. The category is done words. All these answers begin with D U N. Two, three, or four? Three, please. All right. Your first move uh, a mound or ridge of sand? A mound or ridge of sand? A dune. And overalls or trousers? Dungarees. To dip biscuits into tea is to... Dunk. That's right, three moves here. Uh, let's up now. OK, swipe the screen. Here we go. Let's see what we got. Uh, I knew it had to be there somewhere. All right, OK, we go on to the next category, which is clothes of the world. Albert, clothes of the world. Two, three or four? Clothes of the world. No, clothes. Clothes, clothes yeah. yeah. Uh, two. Clothes. Two. With which countries do you most associate the following items of clothing? Lederhosen. Lederhosen. Germany. Kimono. Kimono. Uh, Japan. That's right. Two of yours. Okay. <laughs> oh, all right. There we are, Joan. Yeah, fine. Back in the room. Just sight the screen, my love. Good. Give it a wallet, wouldn't it? Health weekend. I don't want it, though. Go on. Are you sure? Yeah. It's a nice weekend. You don't want that? It's a health... Go health on. Hey? Eh? Go on. Oh, all right. <laughs> Home computer and the health weekend. There we are. All right, we come back with the next category. We're back now with you, Matt. 
It's new places. You've got two moves up there. A minimum of two questions. Here they are. Where in the world are the following places all beginning with new? New Mexico. United States of America. Newry. Northern Ireland. Well, there you go. You've been lucky, haven't you? All right. OK, here we go. Uh, coming back, let's strike the screen. Let's see what's on the end. Dinner in Paris. OK, now, you've got to decide whether you want to back that prize or answer the main striking lucky question. We've got to find out what they're going to do in a couple of minutes' time. We'll see you after the break. Bye-bye. See you then. Bye. <laughs> Strike it lucky. Now, the situation we've got is Colette's just over the halfway mark, Jones a little bit in front there on the top, and we've got Declan and Matt here on the main Strike It Lucky question. Now, you've got on offer the dinner in Paris so for, for both of you and uh, friends. Mm -hmm. You want to take your girlfriends or whatever? You got a girlfriend? Oh, you. Oh, all right. Yes. I can take her or whatever. And, uh, or you can bag it or you can answer the main Strike It Lucky question. What are you going to do? We'll go for the question. All right, OK. No help from the audience, please, whatsoever. I'll ask you this question. You can confer as loud as you like, and I'll ask you the question again, I must have an answer. This actor struck it lucky when he was cast as Captain Mannering in the comedy series Dad's Army. What is his real name? Um, uh, Arthur Lowe. Lowe. You did it in yeah. Eunice, and you're going to answer tonight's final Jones, you want to come back? There you go, Let me help you back. All right, done? Yeah. Done well. There, there we go. Right, right, there you go down there. All right. There you go. Thank you, husband. There, give a nice round of applause. There we are. OK, well done, everybody. Now, let's tell you what's going to take away with you tonight. Now, Paul and Colette, you've won cashmere sweaters, a uh, portable phone, and smoked salmon for a year, OK? You enjoy being with us? Yes, yeah, thank you. Well, have you. a nice day. I'll see you yep. after the show. Thank Good you. luck to them. Give a nice round of applause. Thank you very much indeed. Well done. You two are the winners. And Joan and Albert, you're taking away with you a dining suite. Uh, look at me, Albert. Yeah, yeah. OK. Because it looks confusing at home. They think you're reading a card. Yeah, it's In fact, okay. you are. So, look, just so, yeah, because well, so, they keep looking at it. Might as well read it. But, uh, there we are. <laughs> yes. So, yeah, that's, that, that's you. Yes. Dining suite. Yes, lovely. Fitted carpet. Beautiful. Uh, health weekend. Lovely. Uh, Albert and Joan, so yes. that's you. Um, <laughs> And a home computer. Beautiful. All right, OK. Thank you very, very much. Give a nice round of applause. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, sit down. Thank you. And Declan and Matt, you're taking away with you tonight a gold necklace, a car CD player, a day at Brown's Hatch, a drum kit, dinner in Paris, a chance now to win anything up to £3,000. Let's give them all a nice round of applause. Declan, like to make your way through us. And Matt, here we go, gentlemen. All right, here you go. That's it. All right, Declan, you'd like to get in your position, Matt. There you go. So it's just nice and close together. OK. Right, now, here's how you're going to play the end game. You move across as you did before, but this time you play the game horizontally and vertically. I'll ask you which move you want to make. You shout out top, middle or bottom. If you look at the screens there now, you can see we've got ten arrows, ten questions and ten hotspots. If a question comes up, it'll be true or false. You give me an incorrect answer, it becomes a hotspot. For a correct answer, you gain another move. You go for our top money of £3,000, no more than two hotspots. 2000 no more than three. And 1000 no more than four. If you go for the top money and you fail to get right the way across, we'll give you £300 for every successful move you made. All understood? Yes. Your prize is the same. Before you make your mind up, the computer will now jumble them all up. That's it, they've gone. 1,000, 2,000 or 3,000? What do you think they should do? Yeah. They're going for the 3,000. They're going for the 3,000. Here we go. I'll just come back. Hey, officers in yourself just there. Put you in there. All right. There we go. All right. OK. For your first 300, you want top, middle, middle or bottom? Middle. What are you going to go for? Middle, middle. The middle one, the middle one for the first 300. Yes, we're on our way. OK, for £600, top, middle or bottom, where do you want to go? 600, where do you want to go? OK, top, top. Yes, the top one for 600. Ooh. It's <laughs> a question. All right. The Japanese art of paper folding is known as karaoke. Is that true or false? False. It's origami, false. that's right. £600. Here we go. That's oh, easy one there, lads. All right, top, middle or bottom? Oh. Middle, middle, middle again. Middle. 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 The middle one for £900. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> David Hasselhoff starred in a TV series called Knight Rider. Is that true or false? 
True. So, uh, True. That's right, yeah. 900 pounds. Well done. Here we go. Okay, for 1,200 pounds, no hot spots gone so far. Do you want the top, the middle, or the bottom? Where are you going to go? Bottom, bottom, bottom. bottom. The bottom one, the jumping down the bottom. Ooh. A lot of ooze in this, isn't it? <laughs> okay. The Bank of England is also known as the Old Lady of Threadneedle Street. Is that true or false? It's true. That's it. Twelve hundred pounds. Well done. Okay, for one thousand five hundred pounds, top, middle, or bottom. Where do you want to go? Bottom again. Bottom again. Bottom again. The bottom one again. Come on. Yes. Well done. It's unbelievable. Okay, for one thousand eight hundred pounds, top, middle, or bottom. Where are you going to go? Eighteen hundred. Uh, top. 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 The top one for eighteen hundred. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, holy Mary, no! <laughs> the Bolshoi Valley was founded in Nuneaton in 1776. Is that true or false? False. A good one for you again. It's Moscow. Well done. Okay. Well, we're okay for now for 2,100 pounds. You want the top, middle, or bottom? For 2,100. <laughs> top, middle, or bottom? Middle. Middle. Hey. Middle. middle. The middle one. Ooh. Okay, we're still on 1,800 pounds. Right, for 2,100, one hotspot gone, three screens to go. We'll allow you one more. For 2,100, top, middle, or bottom, where are they going to go? Bottom. The two one on the bottom. Ooh. Arsenic and Old Lace was a film starring Cary Grant. Is that true or false? Arsenic and Old Lace was a film starring Cary Grant. Is it true or false? False. Oh, no. No, it's true. It becomes a hotspot, I'm afraid. There your hotspot's gone. We've got two screens to do. You can get there, no. OK? It's the very best of luck now. It's a question. You've got to get this one right. right. So, there's no hotspot. Again, for 2,100, top, middle or bottom, where are you going to go? Middle, middle. In the middle again for 2-1. Come on. Ooh. Right. A woggle is part of a scout's uniform. True or false? True. That's true. right, 2,100. OK, this is it. All right, well done. Now, you've come all this way. The prizes you won earlier, they're yours. The holiday, all the prizes go with it. £2,100, that's yours. If you stop here, you've done very well. Not bad for right. a night out, right. is it? Right. Well, no, well, you change it back into the <laughs> Irish punt, you'll have a, well, a few more. <laughs> so, for the jackpot, the very best of luck is pure luck. Mm -hmm. Top, middle or bottom for £3,000. <laughs> really, you know, top, middle or bottom? Over the top. top. You're over the top. You're for the top, for the jackpot, come on! Yeah! yeah! Well done! Well done! All right, I'm going to go, lads. Nice round of applause, come here. There you go. All right, come here. Well done, let's see where they all were. Let's have a look at them. Oh, no, you know, if you need the top one, it's the only one. Oh, dear. Behave yourself. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, the producer just met Michael Jackson's monkey and he's having a... <laughs> he got carried away. Right, this is what you're going to take away with you tonight. You want a gold necklace, a car CD player, a day at Brand's Hatch, a drum kit, uh, a holiday in Paris and £3,000. You enjoyed yourselves? We did, yes. Have yeah. a safe trip Great. back home. Thank you very much. And Great. we'll see you again soon. Until we do, good night, good bless. All right, see you then. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bang on those screens and hope for something fabulous. Barry Moore is back on hosting duties next for even more Strike It Lucky. Weekends at five, play passes to Bradley, so get ready to push back with all your grey matter might, because the chase is on.